basically, um, if this is the scenario or representation of the scenario, the, the, it has its components. There's been an awful lot of talk about FATCA. Um, when I first saw it and, and started to understand it, I said, this is impossible, we'll never get it to work, because it will take a million people to actually implement it. Well, they've now got a million people implementing it. They just work for the banks and the, and the funds and the institutions around the world. Um, it is coupled, though, with the OVDI. It is coupled with um, the threat of prosecutions and the publication of those, because we're seeing every single week that goes by, uh, someone new, some high-profile person who's been caught and is either jailed or a new Wesley Snipes. Last week, the last two weeks, we've seen four more Swiss bankers indicted, arrested, charged, um, and the list goes on. So what it is is, in fact, uh, a quite elegant strategy that has got every chance of success. Um, it has certainly changed the game. There were no mechanisms, really, that could penetrate um, far enough to be able to identify, really, where this non-compliant community is. And hence, only 15,000 people came forward. If only 15,000 people come forward this time, then those that are left um, could have a very serious problem on their hands. Basically, what can we take away from it? I mean, it's really quite simple. The personal details of all US taxpayers who have got overseas assets or offshore assets are going to be reported um, by somebody to the IRS from January. This 2011 OVDI window uh, <laughs> exists now and is an opportunity for people to actually put their affairs in order within a structured approach, uh, within a structured framework um, and with minimal risk. Um, the most important thing is that this window closes in, in August 31st and that being in a position of non-compliance past that date could have some very, very severe consequences, um, both in terms of the finances and in terms of potentially uh, criminal prosecution. Um, the final quote from, from Doug Shulman here is that the new disclosure initiative is the last best chance for people to get back into the system. The risk of being caught from here on in will only increase. The sad thing here is that um, because we work in this business, um, we're aware of a lot of these things. We're aware of this model. We've heard of FATCA. We understand that, it's, that it exists and that it's, it's going to be applied. There are an awful lot of that seven million people out there who don't even know that they're American. There's even more who don't know that they have any filing obligations. Um, so it's not that simple. Um, and then there are some who are you know, genuinely just, uh, just playing the game. They are, in fact, hiding their, uh, their, their assets offshore. Now, until recently, we were still able to talk in rooms like this to people who went, FACA? What is that? Um, now, I think pretty much everyone's heard about it. Most people are now considering their position in front of it um, and how to respond. Um, some have decided, uh, as David said, that the way forward here is just to kick all the Americans out and close their accounts. Um, now, really, that's absurd in a, in a way if you think about it because if you're a bank and you decide, I'm going to have no um, American accounts, you still have to go through the same due diligence process in order to prove that. So you still have to enter an agreement, uh, and a foreign, uh, participating foreign financial institution agreement with the IRS. You still have to install exactly the same processes and take on those costs. So all it really does is shrink your business before you do it. Um, there are going to be opportunities, obviously. There are people who are in the market who are saying, please, please bring those people to us because we are able to handle it. We can... Um, we do know and we have a strategy for how to deal with FATCA. Um, as advisors, um, you know, we must advise our clients um, that this is coming because to not do so it would be a great disservice. Um, I've personally heard an awful lot of people because of the data collection of the, the people who have helped some of these uh, people who are being prosecuted to hide their assets. Some institutions are now refusing to advise US citizens about anything. Um, they are becoming a really forgotten race 
out there, outside of the borders. Um, and it's, it's really not that complex. Um, but a lot of them could get hurt by this uh, through no fault. So unless we are actually uh, making sure that we are looking after those guys, I mean, I don't know how many of us, you know, we're probably on this list as well because I mean, we've got quite a lot of American clients. Some of them have disclosed, and I'm sure that we're in the IRS database as their advisors. Um, who knows who's in there? Um, but we do know that uh, the penalties are not just for our clients. Some of them are, are for us too, you know, so we, we've got to do the right thing here. I would like to leave on that note. Um, we have basically posed the question, has America won the game? The answer is not yet. But it does have some pretty impressive cards showing, and it would seem to have some more impressive ones up the sleeve still. So we think they've got a fairly good chance.